In this video, you are going to learn how to write the basic compound formulas in three easy steps. First, write the symbols of the elements in the compound. Second, identify the charges and then perform the crisscross method. Reminder, if you are not still familiar with the symbols and the charges of the elements, please get your periodic table as your reference. In writing basic compound formulas, you should always remember the suffixes OUS and IC on how it is being used in the compound in order for you to get the correct formula. If in writing acidic compound formula, hydrogen is written first. Here, in writing basic compound formula, hydroxide is written at the last part of the compound. Hydrogen is for acid, hydroxide is for a basic compound. Let's have an example. We have here calcium hydroxide. So let's have the first step. Write the symbols of the elements or the compound. So what is the symbol for calcium? That is Ca. Very good. And hydroxide is OH. Very good. Then let's proceed with the second step. Identify the charges of the elements or compound. So what are the charges? Calcium is positive 2. Hydroxide is always negative 1. Very good. After identifying and assigning charges to our element or compound, we can now proceed to our third step, the crisscross method. Again, the crisscross method simply means exchanging its oxidation number and becomes its subscript. Therefore, positive 2 will become the subscript of our hydroxide. Very good. And then, the negative 1 will become the subscript of our calcium. And always remember to remove the positive and negative sign. Now, the formula for our calcium hydroxide is CaOH parenthesis 2. For our next example, we have aluminum hydroxide. Let's proceed with the first step. Write the symbols. Aluminum is Al and hydroxide is OH. Right after, let's identify the charges of the elements or compound. Aluminum is positive 3. Hydroxide is always negative 1. Right after, perform the crisscross method. The charge positive 3 of aluminum will become the subscript of our hydroxide. And then, the negative 1 of hydroxide becomes the subscript of aluminum. Therefore, the final formula for aluminum hydroxide is ALOH parenthesis 3. Very good. Let's have our next example. We have ferrous hydroxide. Take note, we have here the suffix OUS. That means iron used its lower oxidation number. Always remember that iron has two oxidation numbers, the positive 2 and positive 3. Positive 2 is the lower oxidation number. That's why the suffix is OUS. Now, let's proceed with the first step. Write the symbols of the elements. Of course, ferrous is an iron. That's Fp. Then hydroxide is OH. Now, let's identify the charges. Iron is positive 2 because of the suffix OUS. And the hydroxide is always negative 1. Then right after again, let us now proceed for the third step, performing the crisscross method. Therefore, positive 2 will be the subscript of our hydroxide. 
And then, the negative 1 will be the subscript of our iron. So, the final formula for our ferrous hydroxide is FeOH parenthesis 2. Very good. Our next example is stannic hydroxide. Take note again that we have here the suffix IC. Therefore, we're going to identify which of the oxidation numbers of tin is being used in the compound. Since the suffix is IC, therefore, tin used its higher oxidation number, which is positive 4. So, for our first step, write the symbols of the element. Of course, tannic is tin. Each symbol is SN. Of course, the hydroxide is OH. After that, let's proceed with the second step, identifying the charges. Of course, SN is positive or because of the suffix IC. Then, our OH is negative 1 as always. After that, we can now proceed with the third step, which is the crisscross method. Again, the charge for our tin will become the subscript of our hydroxide. And the negative charge will be the subscript of our iron. And don't forget to remove the positive and negative sign. Therefore, the formula for our stannic hydroxide is SnOH parenthesis 4. Got it? Very good. Now, it's your turn. Write the chemical formula of the following compounds. 